Hi, my name is Dominic King. I'm accredited strength and conditioning coach and a master tennis performance specialist. Over the course of Tennis Congress 2023, myself and Richard Woodruff have been highlighting the importance of a pre-training or pre-match preparation. Now, I use the words preparation intentionally because it's not just about a warming up. Like we can get out in the sun, we can just have a walk around and that's, we'll get warm. But what we want to do is prepare intentionally to go out and train and on the court. So we want to take ourselves through a nice progressive preparation where we start off slow, increase, have some dynamic mobility exercises just to prepare the muscles for the action to come, gradually increase the intensity of the exercises. So we're getting ourselves to an intensity red, which is close to what we're going to have on the court. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take you through the preparation or an example, a sample preparation that we've been going through during Tennis Congress 2023. Uh, so go at it, make sure you try, make sure you do it before every time you get on court to train or to play or to compete, because I promise you, you will feel the benefits of it. You'll be ready to play from the first ball and you will massively decrease the likelihood of being injured and getting injured when you're on the court. So it's a vitally important step in your tennis playing. So please take the time to do it and enjoy. So the first exercise we're going to do is a walking arm swing. So as you walk forward, swing the arms backwards and we're looking to try and get a brush of the ears as you go. And when you get to the other side, just walk backwards and swing the arms forwards. And again, really trying to get that brush of the ears. That would give us a little bit of indication of how the shoulders are feeling. And all the way back. Next one we're going to do is just walk forward. And this time just swing the arms across the body and out. Look to alternate right arm on top, left arm on top. And really hug and open, hug and open. And then same thing again on the way back. So just hug and open. So just really looking to loosen up through the shoulders as we go. From there, just going to stand on the line. So have hands on the hands on the shoulders and just look to rotate. So just look to rotate one way, then the other way. And just again, just try and start slow and quick it up a little bit and try and go a little bit further each time. And after about four or five each way on this one, we can then look to incorporate the foot. So just pivot off the foot and rotate. And you should go around a little bit further and just get a little sense of what's happening on that stance leg. So as I turn to my left, I'm getting a nice rotation through the left hip, turn to my right, nice rotation through the right hip. And again, just do four or five on each side of those. Following that, let's come into a leg swing. So it's leg swings across the court and just looking to try and go nice and smoothly from one step to the other. Start off slow, speed up, start off small, and then get a little bit bigger as you go. Nice step from one to the next with good posture. When you get to the side, just turn around and just go for a little bit of a heel to toe. Stay on the floor, so you don't need to come up off the floor and again, just roll through from the heel to the toe, working opposite arm, opposite leg as you go. From there, we can do a little bit of an ankle series. So just have a little walk up on the toes. Oh, sorry, up on the heels on this one, bringing the toes up towards the ceiling. You know, like do a lot of work around the calf, around the ankle, keep them nice and mobile and strong. Come back the other way, and just going up onto the toes this time. As you're going to get a nice contact through into the floor. As you go. Uh, from there, it's going to look to go for a little walking knee hug. So just come up and again walk and just grab the knee and pull it up towards the chest and come up onto the toes of the standing leg if you want to and all the way across to the other side and then from there have a turn around and just have a little bit of a leg sweep so just walk through a couple of steps sweep through with the other leg and again start small and go bigger and start slow and go a little bit faster with it as you go and you should feel that loosening up through the hamstrings keep the back nice and straight In that one, going to go into some hurdle steps. So let's go up and over. So as we go forward, just look to bring the knees forwards, up over the hurdle, the imaginary hurdle. And then when you get to the other side, same thing, but you go back and then backwards. Nice posture, so not collapsing, stay nice and tall. Imagine you've got a string lifting you up towards the ceiling and up and over. And then all the way back. 
Today we're going to go into a little bit of a lunge series. I'm just going to have a little forward lunge. And as you lean forward, reach up and over. Change legs. So my left leg goes forward, right arm goes up and over. And again, same thing with the arm. Take it up straight. Oh, balance on. Straight, up and over. Stabilize, up and over. Drop down, up. And keep going all the way to the other side. Just go at your own comfortable range what you feel comfortable with. When you get to the other side, let's go backwards with the lunge and then rotate. So if my left leg is forward on the lunge, turn to my left. If the right leg is forward, turn to the right. And again, try and really get a good reach back with that rear leg. So getting a nice stretch to the front of the hip as we go. Drop, rotate, and all the way back to the other side. Keep a nice straight line between the chest and the hands with the rotations. Uh, from there, I'm just going to do a nice little forward jog across the other side. So let's jog it across. And then backwards. Try and get the feet a little bit wider on the backwards run. And then going to turn it into a lateral shuffle, nice athletic base, and a good little push off the outside leg all the way across the other side, and then back. After that, going to go into karaoke, so over and back. Looking to get nice movement through the hips as you go. So over and back and back. And then you can go through those again. So that's probably about 50, 60%. You can look to up it and go again a little bit faster should you want to. Uh, from there, just going to do a little bit of a sort of wrist forearm work. So just pull the hands down. And just do that kind of five times or so on each side. Just get a nice little loosen out through the forearms and then change, so palm facing towards you this time. And again, change. And you can do a few different variations of this one just to get the forearms going. You can take it into a little bit of increased intensity just a little bit now. So you're gonna go for a little bit of a sprint warm up uh, and then couple that with some shoulder activation exercises. So the first one for the sprint warm-up is the one, two, three knee lift. Count if you need to, I always do. So it's just one, two, three. So it's looking to get a nice contact into the ground, do the same thing on the way back. Nice drive into the ground. From there, the first shoulder exercise, just had palms together. Bring the arms up into a Y. Nice good squeeze to the shoulder blades. Externally rotate the shoulders so the thumbs point back. And just do five of those. You can do it up, increase it if you want to, to 10. And if you have a band, you can do it with a resistance band as well if you have a light one of those. Next one for the sprint series is the ankling. So get nice contact into the ground and a little bit of a nice pop up out of the ground. So just bounce. So you're not kicking the feet out too far to get a nice contact into the ground and after you've hit the ground just keep your toes pointing up next one for the shoulders take it into a t so we've had the y now just bring it into a t again keep the palms up thumbs pointing back and again we'll just go for five of those then the third one on the sprint warm-up is the A skip. So that's when we two contacts into the ground. So let's go one, two. And again, when the knee comes up, knees up, toes up. Turn around, so knees up, toes up, and try and get that opposite arm and leg action. So then heel just lifts up quickly. Next one for the shoulders, just to give you a little bit of a break in between. Pull the elbows back and then externally rotate through the shoulders. And again, just activating those shoulder muscles so important when we play. And then the final one for the sprint warm up is to go for a straight leg bound. So try and kick the foot out a little bit more, but still get the contact into the ground. So just out. And then same thing on the way back. And then the last one for the shoulders 
palms together again, and this time just pull them back down in a diagonal. Lovely. So now just look to increase the intensity just a little bit more. So you're going to go for some uh, double foot pogos, some lateral bounds, and then some kind of some shadows. So we start off on the doubles line. You're going to do some double foot pogos across the singles line and then back. Look to get as much height as you can. If you're not looking to cover the distance, try and get height. So let's have a little bounce. So as the feet land, they kick up. So you follow that with a little bit of a lateral power move, which is the lateral bound. So just leap across and go four on each side. Now, if you find that a little bit of a, little bit of a struggle, feel free to just kind of like push and hold. Have a little bit of a push and hold, push and hold. That's another variation, but try and get that little reactive bounce if you can. Uh, from there, if you have a medicine ball or something, you can use that. If not, don't worry. You can just go for a little bit of a shadow, kind of med ball throw. Just coming through, so just turn, four hands, back hands, just a little load into the leg, up and through, and again load into the leg, up and through, just getting that hip, shoulder separation warmed up, and just a couple of shadow shots there. And you can repeat that again, repeat that twice, three times if you want to, and from there going to go into a, a forward out and back, so just looking to increase the intensity just that little bit more, get ourselves ready to get on the court, so the movements are now going to be at the speed and intensity closer to what we're going to have on the court. So you're going to start from the doubles line, you're going to sprint to the centre line, pivot, do a 180 turn, come back. So you start off the line, so push forwards, back to the centre line, and then back. So that was the left foot pivot, so we'll do a right foot pivot, and start off slower, so you go about 60% 60 or so. So from here, forwards, right foot pivot, and then back. I just want to try and be nice and sharp with the turns. So when you get the pivot, you get a nice push and drive back. So do it again, up the intensity just a little bit. So just push forward, boom, and then back. Give yourself a moment to recover. Don't be going too quickly between them. Last one, right foot pivot. So forwards, right foot. And again, you can repeat that a couple more times if you want to, just increasing the intensity each time. Just being really mindful of having that nice push and then back. Last couple, just to keep the intensity going before we get on court. We're gonna start off on the singles line. We're gonna have a lateral shuffle across to the doubles line, turn and go through the center line, stop by the time you get to the, to the singles line. So a nice athletic base, the lateral shuffle, turn and go and then decelerate and stop by the time you get to the singles line. Same thing again from the other side. Nice athletic base, natural shuffle, turn, and stop by the time you get to the line. Again, lots of different variations of those that you can do. Increase the intensity as you go, but really important to get that acceleration, that quickness, but then also that stop, the brakes. So tennis is a game of accelerations and decelerations. So just got to make sure that we can put the brakes on nice and quickly. Last thing you can do is if you have a racket, grab your racket and then do some shadow shots to finish. So again, low intensity, increase the intensity. So imagine you've kind of got a wheel or a clock face around you and you're just going to move around the clock face. So you can be here, little split, come back in, go back behind, set, boom, come back in, then forwards, come back in, then same thing on the other side. So you can just step, and you can just go as far as you feel you want to. Change the movement patterns. So you come up and back in. If you want to change the movement patterns, you can come out here and then have a little bit of a shuffle step in. Same thing on the other side. Come through, or shuffle step on the other side as well. So you can change the movement patterns depending on what you want to do. But if you do that a few times, so do three, four, Shadows on the forehand, three, four shadows on the backhand. Have a little rest, go again. Then you should be good to hit the court, fully prepared to go.